What is going on everybody? Welcome to I Love Basketball TV, the number one YouTube channel to get your best basketball drills so you can improve your game and see more results in game. So today we're gonna be breaking down a very, very simple three-step process just so you can shoot better in games, create more separation, and really speed up your pickups so you can win more 1v1 matchups, especially when you're in game. A lot of times players just get into very normal basic form shooting drills or just very basic shooting drills that you've seen throughout your entire childhood and growing up within basketball. Today I'm gonna show you some things that may seem different, but they're really gonna help transform your shooting so you can play much better in game. So if you Enjoy this content make sure to watch the whole video drop a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel so for the first one all we're going to be doing is line up around the free throw line or anywhere that you want to go just to simply warm up you're going to be having the ball just by your hip or in your shooting pocket like a lot of people say and all you're going to be doing is just simply getting into a normal shoulder width stance just like we're shooting and all i'm going to be doing is just simply tapping my feet and almost like act like i'm jump roping in a sense where i'm jump roping but i'm going to be having the ball on my hip and just continuously popping back and forth back and forth back and forth at any moment after maybe a couple taps, maybe after you get the rhythm, then you're gonna be popping right into your shot. So for an example, I'm just gonna be popping, popping, popping. Once I'm finding a good rhythm, then I get into my shot and begin to shoot. I'll make maybe five here or maybe three in a row, five in a row, whatever you wanna do. But do this enough to the point where you feel like you've mastered it, you've gotten the rhythm, and you feel very comfortable getting into the shot whenever you want. Now we're gonna be doing another drill that's very similar to the popping feet, but instead of popping back and forth continuously, now we're gonna be doing what's known as a snap down. All I'm gonna be doing, same exact thing. I can line up around the free throw line, maybe short corners if you wanna switch to the spots. Doesn't really matter just be enough to where you feel like you're warming up all you're gonna be doing is having the ball in a shooting position so have your hand under the ball having a guide hand and then you're just gonna be starting by having the ball above your head this may look a little bit weird but trust me we're getting somewhere after I have the ball over my head, I'm gonna be rapidly snapping down. What I mean by that is everything is gonna be from a very elongated, long position, and then all of a sudden I'm going to snap down as an instance. What this is doing is helping develop that power, that rapid fluidity when trying to get into your shot so you can propel that energy back into the rim, obviously, when you're shooting. So all I'm gonna be doing, starting the ball over my head, having the guide hand, having my shooting hand, act like I'm normally shooting just from here, and all of a sudden I'm just going to snap down and then get right into my jumper. Now for the second segment of the shooting, we're going to be focusing on pickups. Pickups are a super crucial and you know important concept when it comes to shooting, especially when trying to get your shot off the dribble or trying to get a shot off against tough defenders. So starting off, I'm going to be here at the free throw line, and I'm just going to be getting into any freestyle dribble that I want to get into. I can be you know wide stance here, or I can be in a shoulder width stance, or I can be in a split stance, or I can be moving back and forth. It doesn't really matter, but what I want to be focusing on is acting like we have a defender in front of us, and we're just trying to get outside of his hips in a way, or we're just trying to mix up our dribble. So starting off, I can just be here. Acting like I'm trying to get outside of his right hip, and then I can kind of be nice and relaxed, playing with pace, and then I can decide if I want to go a little bit more aggressive. And then at any moment when your partner yells out, shut, you're going to be getting into this freestyle dribble, and all of a sudden, shot, getting right into that pickup as quickly as you can, trying to get into your shot pocket and up into the basket. This is going to be really important for you to not only focus on the pace and the freestyle component of the dribbling, but also most importantly, the pickup timing. How quick you get into your shot and how fast you can get up in the air and into the basket. Now we're gonna be doing a very similar concept here with this next part of the shooting drill. Now instead of getting into just a normal shot, now we're gonna be adding a left and a right, meaning a left step back and a right step back. So you're gonna be lining up around the free throw line. Again, any spot that you wanna get into for yourself. And you can be getting into any freestyle that you wanna do. So freestyling, kind of switch with the pace like you see me do. And then when your partner's gonna be yelling out right or left. If you yell out right, obviously, I'm stepping back on the left side to my right side. And then if he yells out left, I step up off the right leg into the left side. Make sure here that you're really trying to create separation. Maybe if you're at the free throw, you're trying to step all the way to the opposite elbow. And then if you're trying to step back this way, you're trying to get the opposite elbow. The main uh, component here is really just getting separation from your defender. Not just kind of do like a normal little touch step back. You're not creating much separation. You're probably gonna get blocked and you won't get a shot off. So really emphasize creating that separation, being quick, being paced, and having that nice, quick, explosive step back to get into your shot. Now for the very last progression of this drill, you're gonna be having your partner. He's gonna be playing defense on you, but as you can see, he has his hands behind his back. Now, all I'm gonna be doing is lining up at the free throw line. Here is where I want you to be at the free throw line. Only reason is because now these are our boundaries. Now, when he's playing defense on me, I can choose between any freestyle dribble that I want to do, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I only have three different shots that I can use. The two step backs or just a normal shot in general. So, for example, when I'm freestyling, I'm doing my thing, I have to be able to get into a quick enough pickup to where his hand behind his back can't try to block me and can't try to strip me before I get into my shot. So now you're working on not only the quickness of the pickup and the step back, but two, you're trying to time his ability to not be able to get his hand onto my shot. So for an example, when I'll be freestyling here, kind of going back and forth, and then trying to decide what I want to do, I'll step back, then he gets his hand up, and then I shoot. So 
Just for that example, you'll have that partner really emphasize the quick pickups, emphasize the quick step backs, and trying to create separation from your defender before he can get his hand behind his back. So if you enjoyed this video and you like this workout and you really find a challenge your shooting ability and you be able to shoot better in game, especially winning your one-on-one matchups and trying to get it off against your defender, then make sure to check out the other videos that we have within this whole entire channel. So again, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.